back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Madison Creek 19 what in the world is this oh by the way it's your host Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller folks welcome back to Farming Simulator we have us a new mower folks this thing's one two three four five wide kind of scary I got a uh, course play driving and uh, I don't know who we're gonna get to drive is probably we're going to give a shout out today to my cuz muff that's his nickname everybody calls him muff uh, his real name's Larry um, I ain't gonna give out the last name you might not want that, but anyway, uh, Larry works on the farm too, and, and uh, he usually drives like combines and big sprayers and stuff. But today, he's going to be driving the Kloss, or Kloss, however how you say it, mower, and uh, we're going to field 60. But we're going to let this guy turn the, the hood back on here. We're down to one million seven hundred ninety-one thousand two hundred and twelve dollars, and dropping. Um, yeah, this guy's gonna go fill sixty. We are gonna go sell some wood chips real quick, and then uh, so I'll meet y'all over there. Okay. All right, was that fast enough for y'all? Hop, skipping, and jump for me just about. All right, I've been pulling swinging way out and pulling in on top of the wood pile or wood chips here to get this work and then I, I realized I can do it this way I don't know how I done it this way but it just I just thought I'm like oh it does it that way okay I'll get about right in here there we go and you see the money going up if I can get where you can see it now wood chips are going down. And while this is doing that, all right, we're at 1.8 now. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna go to our contracts and we got three here we need to finalize. Field 30 at the herbicide, I went ahead and done it. It was 9,000. So we're gonna collect that. And field 20 was sowing uh, soybeans, and along with field 36 with soybeans. So, almost, what, 76000 there for both of them? Folks, that, that's a lot of money. Come on, there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, we got some fertilizing ones. Okay, field 20, uh, fertilizer. Yeah, we'll click, I mean, start that. 36 they want to uh, fertilize that too. Field 30. Yeah, now all the rest of these down here are corn. I don't really want to mess with them. They take a little bit longer. I like the fast ones. We just jump in there, spray them, and be done with it. Uh, as for that, let's see. Let's go to the money one. We ain't done this in a while. Uh, new vehicles, like 94,000. Uh, construction costs is 520000 Uh Vehicle running costs. Yeah, you, you can see all that there. I'm scroll down a little bit. Um, I don't see it nowhere. Well, harvest incomes going up. Contract income. Look, look at this in here. These couple days here, folks. Uh, that's a lot of money coming in. And he's still going, so we're going to go back in here a second. And let's see. I want to go all the way down. Come on. I had the wrong way. Come on. Okay. As you can see here, if I can get down here, 
uh, southeast grasslands is planted. And we got all this cultivated. Got a few trees taken out too, by the way. Um, yeah, we basically got mow grass, 13, 14, and 2 is ready. And you can see up here, field 60 is ready. We need to get this guy out of the way, but let's... Um, I don't know if he'll keep doing the wood chips or not, so I'm gonna bring you back right when he, right before he gets done. We're already at two million again, but I'll bring you back here in a second when he gets done. Okay? All right, folks. That is a lot of wood chips. Wow. We're probably gonna make 2.2, .2, almost 2.2 .2 million. And that was the last of them. $232,286 worth of wood chips, folks. It's been a good year. Not for trees. But it's been a good year for the farm. Alright, we uh going to have to get the baler and stuff. So let me get this guy back down south. I actually might stop at our north farm there. Or actually, it's east farm. We got another farm way over there that's north. Uh, I'm thinking about buying it. And we have all three farms. But I'll be back in a second, folks. Ah, I was up here earlier, and I couldn't get these weeds here to go bye-bye. That's right, but you see right there, they still stick up. So we're going to shut this off, fold it up, because the other guy is about here to mow. And I'm going to get him started on course play, because we still got to, uh, uh, get the baler and stuff ready. Uh, we washed it, but it probably needs some, uh, belts checking over and stuff like that. And we're just going to park this across the road here for time being. I, I might end up getting this over here. I don't know. What do we're going to put a spot here to store the bales? All right. He should be here any second because he was at the bottom of the screen there he is on a little mini radar coming up let's go see I said let's go see oh wrong one. Oh, okay we're going to while we're waiting on him get up there we're going to go ahead and go in here and sell these two right here folks so let's go into our shop and go to the garage and y'all probably want to see what we got in our garage Huh. We got the two hipper or uh, stripper planter type deals that strips the ground and makes little beds for the co uh, cotton corn and stuff like that. Sorry to get me something to drink. We got the two Fords, the 6M series R engine, whatever that is on that John Deere there. And uh, we got the Magnum that we're fixing to sell right now. Go ahead and do that. 69000 yes. If I could tug it to the dealer and got a little bit more, but I'm going to let them come pick it up. And we still, we got the 4840, 4440, the 4960. And we got the two horses. Then we got the two small horses, I call them. Then uh, two more ARs, the SEMARs, both of them. Then we got some trucks. We got lots of trucks. And two sprayers. There's the Mercedes Benz as it's listed. And uh, it's a 14 meter working width, a 24 mile an hour. It, it's going to cut some grass, folks. And we got a lot of trailers. 
Um, these been updated. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Can't show you that in here. Whoo. But uh, these here, uh, the new update has a drawbar on the back of it. And you can put these uh, baskets on it too. Um, you don't have to have the baskets, but you can have the drawbar and it pulls these here. And uh, we're going to be getting them. We got them at the shop already. Here's our case disc we're going to sell. Can't get very much out of it. It's cracks and stuff on it, but we got to get rid of it, folks. And yeah, we just, um, I'm going to leave that at that. There we go. We're, we're getting in the field now. Let's go ahead and uh, stop him. And put the gas pedal on. Or should I say uh, fuel pedal. pedal. Ugh, I can't even talk. Oh, I didn't want to close that out. I want to leave that open and put working mode on. Let's see. I think I can get over right here. Same neck supposed to the way the ladders are don't really want to cross a ditch with one of these. But don't tell Dave at the marketplace. Uh we went ahead and bought this thing, I think. Why it's unfolding garage and then lease. All we got lease is the cat. And uh yeah, so we didn't buy this thing. I'm right, gonna go ahead and let it down, and I am going to start course play, and hopefully everything works out real quick. Uh, right, course generation, and it's gonna be field 60. There goes my phone. Field 60 user, okay. We're going to do two headlands, um, three point, really, it's, um, I can't remember what I said, folks, hang on a second, go in here, go to garage, um, oh boy, this what this what kills time. When you can't remember what you said. Oh, right, oh, right there. 14 meters. Okay. Course generation. Build 60. Two headlands. I gotta turn this up to 14 meters. Clicking that mouse. Clicking that mouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can use a wheel on the mouse. Yay! There we go, 14. All right, we're going to go up here. Generate that field course for us, please. Please don't take forever. Why do you want to go up and down for? Um, That's not right. It's not doing all of it. Back delete let's go do this again I don't know why that's saying that like that all right well um I guess that'd be better than nothing uh generate course I don't know why it's not getting all of it see this comes all the way down to here I'm just gonna put a worker on um, about the only thing I know to do. Alright, close that out. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to... Let's see, east and west. No, we want, we want north and south. All the width. And back. And, uh... I guess we're going to go ahead and, oh, I, 
I had to, huh, I, I got scared there for a second, folks. I just shut the motor off. Well, um, what I want, fold, lift, turn on, okay. Oh, you can lift individual ones if you want to. We we don't care for that. Let's see. All wheel steer. We'll, we'll keep at that. Change driving directions. Um, a. Hey. That's what I was doing wrong. Where I go. That might be why it messed up. Alright, here we go. We're in there. It's like we got a radio, heat controls, uh, no buddy seat. Okay. There's plain Jane in here. It's louder in here than it is outside. Alright, it's, uh. Whoa! We got a camera outside on the thing on each side. Okay, that's that's pretty neat. All right, we'll go ahead and turn on the mower. Wow, we're gonna zoom in here if I can. I'll probably get a little bit closer. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and do that. I can't remember this thing was on Mod Hub or not, but I'm like, should I get it or should I not? We're mowing at 13. That's probably what the others would mow at, but we can use this and still use a tractor with the bat wing. Well, the bat wing and the uh, other mower. Don't hit the tree. Um, that's when all of them raised. I want to do this first strip myself and go from there. It is getting kind of late, so. Uh, uh, how about a time lapse? Y'all want a time lapse? All right, let's do a, a short time lapse. All right, everybody, it's been a couple of days since i uh, done the first part of this video, so uh, I'm kind of leaving a little different here. The mower is going. I get it up running. I want to show you all this real quick. This is our plow. I get on the right thing here. Um, there we go. Alright. I already repaired it in the last episode, but I don't know if y'all seen that or not. So, what we're going to do, there's been an update to this thing. As you can see in the picture, it's got boards on the back. Whoa, okay. And this is what I got right now. It's just the plain Jane plow type deal. Um, in real life, this would be a field cultivator, but they got it listed as a plow. So we're going to go for that. But I'm going to change the working speed to, uh, let's go 10.6. And this is where it's going to come in handy for us. See the tongue's on the front right here. That's where you pull it. And back here on the back, we're going to add, you, you can go uh, configure with a hitch one where it's just a hitch on the back. You can go with the boards. Then you can go with the boards with a hitch. That is the one we're going to do. Uh, just help us out preparing the field better. 
Uh, so we're going to customize. And it's that uh, $1,600 for that. We're going to yes. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Now, uh, Muff, if you're watching this, Larry, my cousin, um, is this a plow or is it a field cultivator? Because uh, usually with the wide sweeps like that, it's a field cultivator if I was been told right in my lifetime. But uh, a, a plow would have pl have plows on it, but they'd be made different than this thing right here. Because they usually like a foot long and come to a fine point and rolls the dirt one way to the other. But anyway, we got a hitch on the back of this thing now. And I'm going to go out here and show, oop, if I don't run the door. Boy, it's getting dark fast. I've already done this one. It's all set up. So what you just seen, uh, you can times it too. And yeah, but we got to get this guy out of the way and get our baler up here. Um, field 60, I'm just going to, uh, okay, I got to attach back to that. There we go. And start folding. I said start folding. There we go. Um, Field 60 is going to be bailed uh, with uh, sullish bales. Um, it's just so far to transport and stuff. And uh, the grass fields around here is going to be the ones that fill our silos over there. A big tall silo. And I'm sorry about the lag, folks. It's just around this shop here, I guess. Because so much stuff is sitting there. But this guy is ready. He needs some fuel. So, uh, let me get him filled up. Now I'll get the baler over here and we'll go through that. And I'll be right back with that. Alright, we're getting our tractor and baler in. And, uh, uh, Larry's, I mean, uh, Colin Jones over here filling up the tractor for me. And we're going to go ahead and, as you can see, on our little meter gauge down at the bottom, we're halfway needing a repair on this thing. So let's go ahead and get it while we can. All right. I love the tracks on these tractors. All right. Let's go over here. And I, I thought he would have it full by now. You can see our money going down. That thing must have been thirstier than I thought. All right. Um, yeah, I'm always standing in the wrong spot. There we go. We're going to go ahead and repair the tractor for oh, almost 300. Oh, that is 294. No, that wasn't. A, oh, I thought that was a fuel that kicked off. Sorry. Um, tanks don't need it. I don't know why that's in the picture. Oh, the baler's not in range. Okay. And our fuel cost was $687. Ooh. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the baler in range here. Come on. The tractors take a minute to take off, but once they get going, I might well fill up while I'm here. Get Colin to fill this one up too. And uh, don't forget to add some depth to it. Alright. Don't do this at home, kids. It's dangerous, especially when they're running to cross between the, the hitch right there. Alright, the baler. Repair two hundred and ninety six dollars. Okay. Okay. I I hate to see the fuel bill. I really do. Alright, there's a fuel bill, two hundred and forty one. Hmm. 
I don't know why this didn't unhitch. But anyway, folks, let me get this up to field 60, and I gotta get a truck to follow me. Uh, we're gonna make some solar bells, and uh, yeah, I'll see you back in a second. All right, folks, there's the mower getting at it. Muff's in there driving it, and he's just going to town. Overlapping a little bit, but it'll be all right. All right, we got the baler in the truck down here. And, folks, we are going to go to town ourselves, picking up some grass and turning it to solids. And I'll be right back. All right, sorry about the interruption. Um, we are now bailing in the trucks behind us. Uh, we are doing 8,000 liter bales first. Uh, those will be for the cows. Um, I'm thinking four loads at that, hopefully. Uh, it's kind of kind of hard. I, I wish I could keep track better of all the uh, uh, information, you know, like how much cows eat and stuff like that. But it's kind of hard last year because you know we didn't have that many, and now we got a lot. I don't know what the truck's sitting on. Uh, 40 behind. I want about 35 behind. Right, catch on up, mister. You can catch me. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll probably catch the uh, mower. I don't even see it. Where is it? It's back behind us. Can't see it, but look on the mini map there. So yeah, um, we're making bales, folks. Grass bales. We got uh, Muff and the mower. We got uh, Mr. Yankee in the truck back behind us. And I need to get Christy and uh, Ice Demon on something. Uh, fertilizer. We got three fields that need to be fertilized. Get up here so I can see when the end's coming. Well, oh, it would be. Okay, as you see here at the top, we got three. 20, 36, and 30 to do. And, and yeah, it's quite a bit of money there. Well, we got to get them done. Um, There's something else I was going to show you. It's, it's not in this. Um, let's go over. And show you why well, I didn't have the grass selected. I know, I gotta go select the grass and then I gotta go over. And uh, as you can see, this grass here is ready to be mowed too. And we got some up here around our farm and stuff that can be mowed. Um, I'm thinking all this grass here that we'll get will go into this silo. And this here ain't ready. As you can see, it's just been planted. But hopefully we'll get to mow it this year. At least one time. And all the grass we mow from up there. Uh, around uh, our new farm. Will go into this silo up here. Yeah, that way we'll have everything covered for the cows. Uh, um, we got some wheat. That we have straw. So we'll. Just got to make some hay or maybe buy a little bit of hay or something. I don't know. Uh, don't know how to, you know, the weather is going to work out to make hay. But hopefully we can get it done. We can make some TMR rations and stuff for the cows. Get them bellies full. Uh, we got a bull in there. So we'll hopefully uh, have some babies after a while and all that good stuff, folks. But I can see I'm about... 30 some odd minutes in maybe between this recording and the beginning of this video um, yeah folks I just made a big boo-boo 
Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Stop. I, I, I made a big boo-boo. I forgot the solar trapper. How could y'all let me forget? <sighs> We're going to bring on out to the end. Uh, we'll just have to unload them and try them to get it going the thing on its own. All right, Trey, I'm gonna, uh, Mr. Yankee, you can stay right there. And I'm gonna do this little corner right here. All right, but folks, I'm gonna bring you back in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna be doing some more grass, unfortunately. Um, I'm wanting to speed up to where we're planting cotton, but it's just one of those things. I'll come back and get that later. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the silage wrapper. And uh, it, it's, y'all know what's done here. Uh, I'm going to wrap some bales. This track tractor pulls this baler good. But anyway, I'm going to, I guess, do a lot of this feel off screen and fast forward. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's shut this off. I'm going to go get the solar trapper. <sighs> yeah, it's one of those things. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love each and every one of y'all folks. And, um, don't forget, um, I don't know if I'll list it in this video or not, but go down below and check out the description box. There's a lot of info down there. My mailing list is there. Uh, well, my address, I should say. Now, if y'all want to send me some stuff, um, <laughs> my daughter's like, hey, tell them you want some beef jerky. Tell me you want some beef jerky. Maybe they'll send some beef jerky. I like, daughter, please. Please, just let me do my thing, girl. But anyway, if you want to send something, you don't have to. My mailing address is down there. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that is down there. And I'm going to have two links to Amazon. One for a can crusher. And the other is for the light for my DSLR, I guess. The, the Nikon D5600. Uh, the light I got for it will be down there in the description also. Uh, don't have to buy them, but if you go to that link and go uh, buy something else on Amazon through that link, I get a, a, a little bit of help that way. So it's not going to cost y'all anything. Uh, you just go to that link and uh, browse around, find something you want to order of your own. You know, it don't have to be the light or the can crusher. As long as you go through that link, it will help me out. And also, I got PayPal, and I got Cash App, but I got to figure out the link for it. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll probably see y'all in the next video in the morning time. Later, folks. I know it's a game. I